on now and welcome our next guest on the show. We have Jay Bala of Cash the Chaos joining in. Jay, good to have you on. Thanks for being with us. So today is a bit of a consolidation day, but otherwise this market has just gone literally one way and that's up and higher. Just tell us about banks first because what's changed in this leg is finally banks are now participating. In some sense, they've kind of led this, this final you know, new high that we've seen on the Nifty as well. So what are the next levels in the bank Nifty? Any specific trades that you're, you're looking at here? Yeah, uh, thanks for having me on the show, So, You know, banking index wasn't supposed to go higher, and it has done that. But you know, it, it's it's still struggling. It's not a clean move, and the move from the recent low of 2024 is a choppy overlapping move. So that signals that this move is once again a limited move. But the resistance are higher by by the, by the banking index consolidating sideways. It just bought some extra time and and uh, headroom higher. So the resistance comes at about 49855. And then uh, 52,000. So uh, 49,855 markets value, you know, came in before that, uh, the banking sector in particular, then it will probably be, be coming from uh, SBI. And um, um, SBI below 750 will trigger, uh, could trigger the fall. So, um, yeah, so limited up upside for the banking index. And I'm positive on one of the uh, uh, banking name. Uh, I mean, when we discuss stocks, I'll give you the name. Why don't you tell us, Jay, <laughs> which is that, uh, what's that name? <laughs> Yeah, it's IDFC yeah. First Bank, and uh, you know it's, it's been one of the underperformers. It's moved from the its 52-week highs. It seems seems to have completed a, a correction, and uh, the recent low of 75 looks likely to hold, and um, it, it probably heading back to 103. So it's uh, it's likely to clock uh, clock, uh, clock fresh 52-week highs. Um, but you know uh, we are in the late stages of the markets, so you know allocation should be uh, much lower than normal. Okay, so be a little careful. Late stages of the market, uh, that's that's an interesting sort of uh, point uh, that you're putting out there. Uh, give us some more insights into sort of what makes you a little cautious right now. And maybe throw in a word on Reliance. Reliance has not participated in this last leg at all. If anything, it's been very sluggish on, uh, you know, almost as a counterweight. What thoughts here? Yeah, that's right. Reliance, you know, to me, it seems to have completed a, a significant uh, move at 30, 30, 30, I was expecting 30, 50, it's done 30, 25 odds. So, you know, it's coming off from there. If it were to break 2800, that will be uh, marking a significant uh, uh, turn for the stock. So uh, much caution there. And uh, the reason for my cautiousness comes from the overall global picture, you know, we have uh, a breakout in, in the U.S. 10-year yields, U.S. 2-year yields, and we have a breakout in, in, in Brent. We have, uh, you know, breakout in many commodities. And usually I've all been of the opinion, you know, for the last 14 years, I've been pointing out how risk assets move in tandem and uh, dollar is on the other side. But now what's happening, along with a rising crude, you know, a dollar index is also moving. So, you know, we have equities, a dollar, uh, 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 bond yields and commodities moving together. So this is not sustainable. So something is going to break. So be, be very, very cautious. This is the reason for my uh, caution. You know, speaking of commodities, uh, you're absolutely right. I mean, that upshoot that we're getting, whether it's oil, whether it's gold, now silver is playing catch up. What do you make of it? Which are the charts that are still looking stronger? And, uh, you know, what, what's the recommendation there? Because simultaneously, a lot of the equity stocks, which are sort of piggybacking on the, the commodity move, uh, they're, they've all been surging higher, metals included. That's right. See, copper has got short-term upside spending. So it, it's got something, I probably going to take out uh, 4, 435, a high-grade copper. And so, you know, that's the reason why you're probably seeing uh, strong moves in Hindustan zinc and, uh, uh, you know, Hindustan copper. And, um, you know, when it comes to commodities, fresh move, you know, we've seen, uh, I've been pointing to uh, Tokom rubber uh, and, uh, you know, cocoa uh, the past three, four weeks. And they have been continuing to do well. And the fresh breakout is coming in coffee. So coffee, you know, it's, it's trading thinly on uh, on NCDX. So you know, it's likely to take out the all-time high registered in 2011. So I always say, when you are looking at inflation, look at the three C's: crude, uh, cocoa, and, and coffee, mm. and copper to a very small extent. So you know, so there's, there's uh, much more, uh, you know, uh, push higher coming from these three C's. And coffee is probably going to fresh all-time highs. So, you know, this is the fresh trade for me. And it's it's a, it's breaking out of a double bottom on the weekly charts. It's a micro double bottom. But I've been bullish on uh -huh. coffee since 2019. 
Oh gosh, okay. Prashant, uh, cocoa is higher, coffee is higher, gold is higher. What is a woman to do? And he's talking about, you know, multi-year chart breakups. <laughs> Jay, help out. <laughs> uh, where, is it, where are resistances? No, no, no. Nothing nearby, huh? <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. See, I mean, last week I pointed out Nifty to you know, drop back to 2200 and then go to fresh uh, highest about 2200. It's done exactly that. It's coming. It's coming down from 2200. You know, if 2200 breaks now for the second time, I'll be a bit cautious. But you know, the, I'm not completely sure if the Nifty has uh, put in a top. But time-wise, today is an important uh, uh, time resistance. Then, uh, but to me, the, I think the market will likely to top around uh, 19th of April. 19th of April is a much bigger time resistance. So watch out for it. Until that point, I'll uh, consider the market is still up in the short term. Okay. okay. Well, Jay, we'll leave it there. Uh, thank you for that conversation. Uh, good chat as always. Appreciate you joining in uh, with that perspective on markets uh, uh, right now. So, 